welcome to the High Speed Amplifiers Lab here at Texas Instruments. My name is Dwight Bird, Product Marketing Engineer for Successive Approximation ADCs, or SAR ADCs. Hi, and I am Luke LaPointe from Texas Instruments as well, and I will be joining you, Dwight, today. I am the High Speed Applications Engineer down here in Dallas, and today we're going to be covering uh, how to interface your op amp and your RC filter with your data converter. Great. Thank you, Luke. And that's exactly it. We're going to show young, new upcoming engineers, how do you use your SAR ADC and select that correct op amp and the correct RC filter value. So this is what we're going to be talking about. The ADC that we have selected today is the ADS8028. It's a 12-bit, one mega sample per second ADC. That's great for general purpose, multi-use applications. But before we go into this, there's three important parameters that you really need to know and get from your ADC data sheet. First one is a resolution, or the number of bits. For this one, it's 12 bits. The second most important thing is the acquisition time. For this one, running at full speed, it's 100 nanoseconds. And third is the sample and holding capacitor. And when it's in sampling mode, the sample capacitor is at 40 picofarad. Now that we have that, we can actually put these into our design equations and, the and obtain the correct values for unity gain bandwidth needed from the op amp, the output referred to impedance, uh, that is a minimum amount for your op amp, and your correct RC filter values. So first, we calculate the time constant multiplier from the number of bits. We get that as 9.01. We then use that to calculate our time constant, which is the necessary amount of time constants used to settle the signal correctly for our ADC here. After that, we can calculate the frequency of the zero added pole onto our, uh, under our whole system. From that one, we can finally get the unity gain bandwidth required for this ADC. This one is 57 megahertz, right around there. After that, we can actually get our necessary filter values for your capacitor and your resistor. When you get your resistor value, you can actually determine what your maximum output referred to impedance is. Your filter value here for capacitance is around 430 picofarad. Your resistor value is 24.9 ohms, and your resistance value has to be less than or equal to 224.1 ohms. So now we have gotten all our necessary values needed for that. Luke, is there anything else that I need uh, to select the correct high-speed amplifier? Absolutely. Uh, there are a couple of extra parameters that would really help me narrow it down and get you the right, right op amp. First okay. of all, what is the supply range of your ADC that you're using? Great question, Luke. It's actually 0 to 5 volts. OK. And is that uh, a single supply 0 to 5 volts? That is, yes. OK. Uh, so what is the full scale range of your ADC? Full scale range will be 0 volts to 2.5 volts in this application. OK. So we'll probably want to use this in a unity gain configuration, and we'll want to do a negative rail in and a rail to rail out amplifier. Absolutely. So considering those parameters, I think the best option here would be the OP836, which is a 200 megahertz operational amplifier with negative rail in and rail to rail output. And this also has zero to five volts supply and one milliamp quiescent current. So that's very low power when you're talking about driving a SAR ADC and consuming power and trying to um, preserve battery life. Let's cut here to Tina TI where we can run some simulations. The ADS8020 actually has a simulation on the web, a reference design that actually includes the OP836 as it is. So this helps us out greatly. Um, one thing we want to do is uh, we would like to run with 10 kilohertz uh, input frequency and just center the, the, the voltage supply at 1.25 volts and just give it a uh, two volt peak to peak signal. So we can make sure that that's all uh, good in order. You can see that we placed the 24.9 ohm and the 430 picofarad RC filter in there as well. So simulating our results, we can show that um, this plot shows actually the input and the output placed on top of each other. And you can see the analog input and the digital output are uh, pretty precise. They are, there's no missing codes, and it shows that it settles fairly well to the, what the ADC is trying to do. So now that we have the simulations, we have an EVM and we can test real results here in the lab. So what we've done here is we have a function generator and it has uh, the capability to drive 10 kilohertz with 1.25 uh, volts DC offset and two volts peak to peak 
um, signal. And we have that going down into our uh, ADS 8028 EVM, which is available on the web. And that is feeding into the computer, into ADC Pro, which is a free simulation tool that will let you simulate a lot of the uh, analog equipment that you don't have or that you would normally have in a lab, like an oscilloscope or an FFT plot. So here uh, we have the ADC Pro loaded with the ADS8028 uh, plugin, and we are currently on channel one. And so we can simply acquire, use this acquire function, and show that our signal is actually uh, the, the two volt peak to peak sine wave that we were looking for with the 1.25 volt offset. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's a full sine wave. It, it's not clipped. Uh, the rail to rail aspect of it is, uh, is working fine. And all the concerns that we were talking about earlier in the video have been addressed. So Dwight, uh, to summarize, the, the operational amplifier to pick that I would pick would be the OP836 and some empirical evidence as well as simulations can prove that. Perfect, thank you, Luke. So as discussed, we took you through the correct RC filter values. Luke gave you that exactly right op amp for this, uh, for this application. And we took you through how to calculate that value, how to simulate it using TINA TI, our analog based spice tool. And then finally, how to quickly evaluate using hardware and our proprietary ADS Pro, ADC Pro rather, tool. Thank you very much. And from Texas Instruments, have a great day.